Okay, so thanks for being here for the group reflections. We'll start off by asking, what are your takeaways from the Digital Media Creation Project? Mm, I would say my takeaway would be that we got to see a good perspective view from the teachers and the students because without the creation of this video, we wouldn't be able to hear or see their personal thoughts and feelings on language learning. So that would be my takeaway. I completely agree with Tanisha's point. I think it was interesting to see that each teacher had a different approach, but they all kind of shared the same passion towards making sure that every student um, succeeds in their respective classes, which is really nice and satisfying to see. My takeaway from the um, digital me media product, the video we created, um, I'm actually uh, inspired to make another video for like the second semester because um, at the beginning I felt like it was gonna be something very challenging because I'm not like a technical person like with electronics or anything like that but you know I had my group members who were very familiar with it and I learned and it was pretty fun because I felt like we created something special and um, my takeaway is that I'm inspired to do maybe other projects using DaVinci Resolve and, you know, creating other things mm -hmm. that could help other people too. Now, how about challenges with filming and editing? What did you encounter? How did you solve them? Um, well, we had several challenges, but nothing significant enough for us kind of like, this was a really tough thing to get through. I think a slight challenge for me was kind of transporting the equipment back and forth, mostly because I took public transportation and it just wasn't built for that. Um, but other than that, I don't think we had any major challenges when we were setting up a time or working on anything else, but I think... Tanisha, you had something to add, right? Um, I would just say a challenge would be the, the fine-tuning of the details and trying to cooperate and decide on what should be kept and what shouldn't be kept because there was three different perspectives and ideas and it was kind of challenging to decide on one mm -hmm. overall. Yeah, to add on Tanisha's point, I actually agree with that. Um, it was challenging because our final product was nine minutes and then <laughs> to bring it down to six minutes was... Um, very challenging, um, deciding what to crop more, but it was um, like our final edit turned out to be eight minutes. That's the um, what we all agreed on, mm -hmm. and it's just for the video to flow and make sense. But that was, I would say, very challenging to mm -hmm. like bring it down because we shot enough content to make like a whole actual episode, like yeah. to make a thirty-minute <laughs> video. Um, so it's uh, it was very interesting to see like how the process is very intricate, and um, I was also mentioning before how you know we spent so much hours on making a video for approximately ten minutes, and um, I can't imagine what the Hollywood producers you know go uh, to make a whole movie that's like an hour and a half. So it was a very like very cool process to see happen. Yeah. Amazing. Now you did mention collaborating in a group. How has the group work enhanced your learning experience? Mm -hmm. I think um, we bounced back a lot of ideas and we scaffolded a lot with our creativity and adding on to each other's ideas. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just interesting to see how everything was so organic with our ideas and just very, um, uh, like it just became better. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was pretty fun too because we all had, we all shared the same kind of goals. We all set up a time that we all agreed with. We all agreed that we, could, we wanted to finish it early. So anything that we wanted to do, we kind of came to agreement pretty quickly. We didn't really have any arguments about it or talked about it too much. It's kind of just like, this is the best time for me, what's the best time for you guys? And we communicated pretty well throughout the whole process. We were pretty much like, I would say, like a really well-oiled machine, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, it's like a quote we have in retail, like with teamwork and, you know, and how 
you know, we try to make people, all the roles, like, flow together. And we all brought different, like, uh, you know, views on how our final product should look like. And I feel it has a bit of all of our personalities in the video that we created. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I would also say that because we were in a group, I didn't feel that I was struggling at any point because, like, if there was something I wasn't sure of, my group members were able to pick up for where I couldn't put in. So that was a good part because it didn't feel as challenging as it would have if I did it by myself. <laughs> yeah. I think you were pretty good at covering each other's weaknesses. I find myself talking at a very low volume, but to make up for it, I think Matthew speaking at a higher volume was pretty was a pretty good touch, which was a really nice thing to see when we were post-editing too. I think it was also pretty fun to edit together and see how our views could come together and end up with our final product. Yeah. I also want to add, like, I can't see doing this on my own. Yeah. I was actually thinking about it. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I could ask, ask you if I could do this project all alone. But I'm glad I didn't even <laughs> ask you that question because this was like such a, like, it took a team to mm -hmm. make this video. And like I said, I'm so proud of what we made. And I'm, I would show this video to like my grandkids, you know, <laughs> like that's how proud I am about this video. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Um, what do you think about your final product that is about to launch? Mm -hmm. I would say I'm proud of our product from looking at where we were at the starting point to where we are at the final point and how it's like progressed so effortlessly and it's so cohesive. So I'm very proud of our final product. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't end up, I didn't expect how it turned out. It was better than I expected, but also more unexpected than I expected. So I'm, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but it was stitched together a lot more fluidly than I would expect it. It's, I don't really have a lot of video editing experience, so to see it come together so nicely is really satisfying. Of course, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have happened at all if we didn't have Sandra and Tim. But <laughs> shout out! Uh, but it all turned out pretty well in the end. Yeah. I honestly like felt. In my, in my opinion, when we added the music mm -hmm. to our video, <laughs> I felt that was like the climax of our like <laughs> moment of making like it, you know, of this video coming to life. And I just, I, that was like my favorite part when we, towards the end of mm -hmm. the video, choosing the music and putting <laughs> the background, I just felt like it came to life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that. I can't <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so how has, last question, how has this project inspired you for the future? Um, so this is something totally different from teaching, but I'm planning on launching a business account online, Instagram, for um, like products that I make on the side as a hobby. So I actually felt like seeing, making this video, I'm like, oh, I have like a vision of, for my business account, you know? Um, so I feel like this video really created a spark in me mm -hmm. to, you know, go to try something new. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm very happy that I went through this whole experience. Yeah. yeah. I think going off of Matthew's point, like just trying something new was a really, good point that he made. Um, the fact that we took it step by step too, like it was a pretty long journey, but it really inspired me to just take everything slowly. As long as you're making progress towards the goals that you set out, um, it's pretty fun. Like it's pretty fun to take it slow and just do as much as you can with the amount of time that you have kind of thing. Yeah, and I would also say if, if I ever needed to make any videos in the future that I would feel confident in doing so. <laughs> so I'm just grateful for the experience. Actually, I thought of one other little question I have. Has this been very different from your learning in other courses at York that you've taken um, or similar? To say that I haven't done any video editing in one of my other courses would be a lie. Um, back when I was doing my undergrad in my Korean class, I had to do a video too, but it was a lot more comedic than this one, and I recommend not watching it because it was pretty bad. But I have experience from that, but nothing as serious and as high stakes as this, because we are showing it in the showcase. So, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> I would say that um, I've done like making videos and stuff, but I haven't been in charge of the editing process and like having that much control of what we're doing and what's going in it. So I haven't been that responsible. <laughs> <laughs> 
for me, I just feel that I'm happy I took this course um, this year mm -hmm. um, because this project was um, launched like this year. Mm -hmm. It was the first time, we're the first class doing this project. So I'm glad I didn't take it last year and um, I saved technically, I would say, the best course for last <laughs> to end this, uh, my whole uh, TESOL uh, program at York University. Um, I think this was like the cherry on top mm -hmm. of m the final course. And I heard from uh, like all my other previous peers, they said the practicum was their most, um, were, was like the best experience for them. Mm -hmm. So that also helped me decide to, you know, choose the, to do this course as my last course as part of the program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing.